Howdy. How are you doing, sir? I'm Austin McCass, and this is being recorded yes, audio sir. and visual. Yes, sir. How are you doing, sir? All right. I'm a little confused. One or two. Is that them up there, over yes, there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What's the deal? I'm her legal guardian. Okay. How did she end up here at this hotel? She's she she's a flight risk, so she runs away, and I can't keep her anywhere. Okay. Okay. So, you know, she goes from place to place because of her disability. She has an intellectual disability. Okay. And the court has appointed me when she was 16 as a legal guardian, and uh, so. You know, I do a lot going around kind of chasing after and cleaning up after okay. the things that Elizabeth okay. does. Um, and, and as her guardian, I want to help for her well-being, but when she, I can't force her to stay anywhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? that's true. I mean, I'm being told by everybody, and I understand that. No. I mean, this goes way back to my, my, my house. Okay, mm-hmm. where she just she ran away because in the of her of the because of her age. Yeah. yeah. No, I okay. I get but it. She's 19 now. Mm-hmm. She presents as a le- as a as a well-adjusted adult, but when you start to talk to her about complexities and challenge her on what her understanding is, she doesn't get to understand. Mm-hmm. And this is from years of, okay. of understanding how she processes and trying to figure out, okay, what's going on. This man that's with her right now, Corey Hammer, mm-hmm. is financially taking advantage of her, as, as evidenced by the Ark of Spokane is my payee for my daughter. Mm-hmm. And they pay the downtowner because she's pregnant. We're saying, okay, we'll just pay for the downtowner. It's a necessary evil kind of a thing, and we're we're going to pay so she's in a stable place, mm-hmm. right? And we're paying until next Saturday, only for her. I come here to drop off groceries because she's asking for groceries, and the doctor has said you need to stay off your feet. I do that, right? Okay. okay. Corey is the father of her child. Okay. What's he doing? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Okay. And he's living here. Okay. Okay. And the legal matter that I'm trying to talk to Corey about, that I've, I've always tried to talk to Corey about everything, okay. just to have a calm like I'm talking to you now. Okay. I talk to him. When, I, when he gets on the phone with me, he cusses me out. He, deri- he uh, derision. Yeah. All right. And, uh, you know, and I'm willing to listen to his complaint and his concern and address it. Yeah. But he's not willing to listen back. Back. Okay. So... Again, I come here and I start to explain something, and I and I explain something to my daughter, and then she relays it back to Corey as being this is what's going to happen instead of no, my dad said it might happen. Okay. Okay. An example is she wanted an apartment, and I said, well, we'll look into getting an apartment. Okay. And I said, we'll look into see about cosign. She took it as I'm going to cosign for her. And then when I called her back and we talked about it, I said, no, I didn't say. And then she gets all upset. And then Corey yells at me and is like, you screwed up. You yelled and you you, yeah. you lost your let daughter. Me, let me ask you something. Yes, sir. Uh, Corey is the father of the mm-hmm. child. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the two of them up there. Yeah. Uh, just so you get this. Yeah. Dad, daughter, she's 19. Legal uh, adult. Legal adult. Sorry. Um, he is the father of the child that she's carrying. Um, they've paid for her place here. She continually runs away from home. and Because uh, she's 19, there's not a whole lot they can do. Um, they've paid for this place till next Saturday, right? For her. For her. Um, and then she needed food and stuff because she's pregnant. The doctors told her to stay her feet. They show up here, and Corey's here, and uh, um, pretty much that's saying Corey's taking advantage of her. Financially and all, all that, but in you know that so that's kind of where we're at right mm-hmm. now. So that's what's up. Yeah. I agree with your your assumption. The question is, what authority do you have over it? I am her legal guardian. I have paperwork filed with Spokane County. You have paperwork with you? Uh, not on me. I have it at home, but I need to keep it with me. Okay. So, but it's on file, Spokane County. What's her middle capability? She is. I'm sorry, I'm jumping your. No, 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 no. You're a little smarter on this than I am. You know, I don't have a problem. Okay. She is mentally about 14. Okay. And, okay. and again, people work to back that up. And, 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 and clinical, di- person. clinical diagnosis, That's right. that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about Corey? Where's his mental capability? I've never had an opportunity to talk with him to ascertain that. Okay. So. I, I'm kind of getting mixed, in, not information, but signals here. She's. He said she she can speak and articulate like a, a grown adult, but he says the complex things. Right. When you 
try to explain it to her, and that's what he was just explaining to me is, uh, you know, like he said, well, hey, we, you know, she wants her own apartment. He said, well, we might co-sign for you, you know, if mm -hmm. things work out and all that. Well, she took it as, oh, you are co-signing for right, me, course, and I'm it. getting an apartment. And then when that didn't happen, him and Corey had some words back and forth. Exactly. And whenever he doesn't give to his daughter, Corey takes that as a personal attack, sure. and then they they go at it. So that's kind of where we're at. And, and you what, just got the gist of our whole conversation. So what you'll need to understand is this, sir. Um, let's say you were to rent an apartment. Let's just use this as a, as a micro example of renting an apartment. If you rent an apartment for your daughter, just like if she's an adult, she has a room in your house, that private space is her space. Sure. If she chooses to allow visitors or company to come words. into that space, you have no authority to remove them or kick them out. And short of discontinuing whatever civil or verbal contract you may have with your daughter. Yeah. Right. And here's right. the thing I probably wouldn't have done if if I was you. I probably wouldn't have paid for her uh, hotel stay here till next Saturday. Well, because then it, and I know what you. Know, I'm a dad. He's a dad. There are. We, we we get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We get it. Um, I mean, there. I again, you are seeing a microcosm of my experience, mm -hmm. and in, in, you're telling me nothing new. Uh, everything about that, and, and I he appreciate it. heard it all. I mean, I've heard, I've heard it times ten. Yep. And so I endeavor because I love my daughter, and now there's a baby involved, mm -hmm. and I'm also a social worker. I work with Dark Spokane, which is developmentally disabled adults, and I, this is one of those extra steps. Okay. I was hesitant to necessarily call you guys, mm -hmm. but he came out and his physical presence. I'm a big guy too, but you don't want to. You know, I don't want to get into anything. No, no. So, again, what are you wanting from us? Today? The issue here is that um, we Elizabeth is only paid for, and that's it, really. And maybe for you to communicate that. What do hotels say to us? That's. There was really no opportunity to talk because he would he got uh, very uh, sure. verbally uh, abusive. Yeah, and uh, of course, you understand what they're going to say is that he's not staying here; he's just visiting. Right. And but you they can't will tell you. They will affirm that he's staying here. Well, and that's between them. Exactly. That's fine. And them. Well, that's that's a why civil I was letting him know. Legally, right. until we have something, it mm -hmm. kind of ties our hands. There's not a lot we can do, but now if, if, if we have something legally, say, or, 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 you, or let's just say you said, okay, well, because it's, he can't be there, then we can... Well, there, there's him. nothing oh. legally right. I can give you to right. say that. The deal with, with if she just paid for one, it, it, let me ask you a question. It, if there's two people in an a place... It's the same uh, price place, for one or two. It's the same price. Right. There, you the same price. See, yeah. there you go. There you go. See, so matter. that's why I was let, trying to explain to him that... You know, I understand his concerns. Oh, I think it's uh, as, as a parent, yeah. trust you know, me. And trust what, what I would do if I was in your position, sir, and, and I'm trying to extrapolate and mm -hmm. put myself there, <laughs> is if I had a mentally incapacitated child who was a vulnerable adult, mm -hmm. with <coughs> legal authority and guard guardianship over her, I might contact the courts and see if I could get a judge to agree that their relationship is not healthy. Healthy for her. Um, maybe getting a no contact order. Uh, yeah, or yeah, he those just lines. took the word right. No, <laughs> been there. Okay, and and, and I'm going to go there again. And what, what, and, uh, uh, what did the judge say? With no regard contact to, order. let me back up. I've okay. been there. I'm I'm in the process of getting there. Okay. And okay. I've been there in the process of thinking about it. Okay. And trying to come up with, okay, what do I do? Yeah. Because it's delicate. It all is. Right? Well, We're talking uh, major high functioning. You know, evaluating of interrelational, interpersonals, and everything. And well, I can tell you this: if you go, if you have the paperwork you say, and mm -hmm. you go into court and you request a protection order on your daughter's behalf, and you have the paperwork, I, I don't think too many judges that aren't going to sign off right. on that. Right. That's pretty much, like you said, it's pretty much right. a time done. I'm not a legal authority on it, but uh, that is one avenue that if you put that in place, here's the deal: if he's around her after that. That's an automatic violation. Say, we showed up here today and an order was in place. It's a no-brainer. I go up mm -hmm. there, I handcuff him, and he's going to jail and on a violation of the order. Right. And he right. so, fixes uh, him. Right. So, so it opens so up a I, whole I, I, I'm, avenue, I'm different gonna, avenue. That's my next step. Where I'm at here is I'm wondering if you guys would be able to communicate with Corey and let him know that, you know what, 
I'm offering him to have a place at the table to talk about the care of my daughter and the care of his so child. So you're willing to offer kind of like a You know what? It, well, I've always a, offered well, that. It's a civil conversation. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Exactly. Now, I talk to him. I talk to anybody who deals with my daughter exactly I like. I talk to you guys. And I want to listen, understand where you're coming from. As long as you understand where I'm coming Absolutely from, do. that's where I'm Again, at. We're all dads here, so we, we right. are sympathetic so, to your situation. Yeah. Some and of us are grandpas. Some of us <laughs> are grandparents. <laughs> well, and I'm a grandparent now. Well, I'm so. not yet, but... I can wait. Now, let, let, let me add this little piece to the puzzle, because I yeah. want you to think this all the way through, too. Okay. What are the ramifications going to be with your relationship with your daughter if you go to court? Obviously, she wants to be with this guy. Is that going to send her into a run mode? Is she going to take off with him and go somewhere else? Then you have no ability right. to help your child. That's right. This way so, that's right. That. I just want to make right. sure you're looking at both sides. I know. I thought of it. That's, you know, you I present mean, a getting a protection order, and what do I do there? You know, what's that going to produce? Well, what is this going to produce she right now? Resent that he has threatened that I've seen her for the last time. Yeah. Right now. Right and here. Today. Well, then I would put an order. There yeah. Yeah, would, wouldn't even be a second quest well, for me. I'd yeah. put the order. You know, but it takes... Can I, can it takes I no, it, you know what? Suggestion? It takes you Monday to go down Monday, fill out the well, paperwork, go in front of the judge, raise your order. hand, present your case. He asks you some questions. Okay. He gives would you a copy. They come down here. They serve like him. Like and once he's served, it's a done deal. He's leaving when we're here. We are standing here while he passes. And I am trying to avoid that. I know. By talking with my daughter and talking with everybody and having everybody see who's calm and who's not, who's argument, who's working to try and help. Basically, really working to touch him and do it and it can be done. And Corey, my daughter okay, is looking at Corey as this rescuer. Okay. Yeah. As this protector from the mean dad. Right. right. And I okay. All right. Uh, let me go talk to him. Yeah, we'll we'll talk go talk to him. Stand by your name is Corey and Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth and Corey. Happy uh, day, Well, I had to do an affidavit right off the bat. Yeah, now it's here till one o'clock this morning. So that didn't help me. So it's just, just the way it is. Hi, Poochie. He's very friendly. Is he friendly? No, that's cool. That's cool. Come here, buddy. What are you doing? All right, hey guys, this is being recorded, audio and visual. Okay, I'm Austin McCaffrey. First of all, you're not in any trouble with us. Okay. Okay. All right. And second of all, I want to tell you, you're not really in trouble with Dad, for you or you. Right. Okay, here's what dad wants, and I can't mandate it, I can't do it, I'm a dad, I'm a grandpa, dad, dad and grandpa over here, okay, we know, that's what he said, and here's, here's what dad wants today, okay, doesn't want you to leave, doesn't want any of that, what he wants is he wants to sit down with you, okay, well just hear me out first, okay, hear me out first, hear me out first, okay, uh, before you get started. He wants to sit down with you man to man and discuss taking care of her from both of your perspectives, not just yours, not just his, but perspectives. That's what he wants to do. That's all he's asking us to convey to you is, hey, I would love to sit down with this guy and, and, and discuss it because I know my daughter. He's the father of the child. I know my daughter likes to be around him. He goes, I get all that. And he says, but I want to make sure that him and I are on the same sheet of music talking. That's him, okay? Right. And I know you guys don't believe that, but here's the deal with that. Here's the deal with that, okay? Um, and, and I'm going to be very frank with you with this. Is part, so at some point, you're going to have to meet him halfway on this issue because cause here's the deal. With him having, even though she's 19 and he had... If he if he has the court papers that he says he has, he could. Well, I, I'm just telling you. I'm giving you the, this perspective. I know, buddy. I'm giving you this perspective that if he takes it a step further and puts other legal papers in place, life could become very hard for you. So that's why I'm telling you. You might want to. And I'm not making a threat to you. I'm well, not anything. Friends. I'm just telling you. You guys gotta gotta think sm uh, smart. Do things correctly. Because his main concern. Is her and the baby. Uh, I'm just telling you what he's being told to us, okay? Yeah, yeah, so that's where we're at. So you guys are going to have to figure that out. 
That's what he would like to do today. He would like to sit down with the two of you, discuss, as adults, he said, the care of her. And he doesn't want to scream. He doesn't want you screaming at him, and he doesn't want to scream at you, and he, and he doesn't want to bring a bunch of drama. So that that's what he's here. Well, <laughs> no, he brought us here, but you know what? You know what? It's better that we come here and do it this way versus coming here and someone has done something crazy and hit each other oh, or something. Is, yeah. I'm just that's saying, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's better for us to come here and say, you know, hey, let's do this as adults. Let's talk about this. Let's go down this path and see what's up. So we told them, I said, well, I'll go talk to them and see if they want to talk to you. If they don't, I cannot force that issue. I said, um, he said, I've paid for it till next Saturday for this. So, so I mean, you pay it, she paid it. Well, yeah, but he came and paid it and then no, bought her groceries. That's what no, he's saying. Wait, wait, he's lying no, too. wait, he meant that means he paid it yesterday. Oh, is that the Tuesday, the other six yeah. yeah. of the 75 extra dollars? I retract that same thing. Okay, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so you gotta, <laughs> gotta bring it down. This is the only problem that I have. He kicked her out almost a year and a half ago, and his, she had several chances within those eight months to get two apartments. He screwed her on both of them. Hey, you know, and he, he brought that up, and this is what he said. Let me give you his take on this, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> he, oh, sorry. He said, um, he goes, sometimes, and, and I wasn't there at the conversation, okay? He said, sometimes my words get misconstrued. He said, I said I might co-sign for an apartment for her later. Well, okay, I'm just telling you. Okay, this is what we're told. Like I, I'm in your life five minutes, and I'm about to be out of it. And, uh, and uh, he said, uh, they took it as I'm co-signing for an apartment. That's what he said. You know, and, I, and I'm going to be honest with you. Let, let's, let's think of this. Let's think of this as adults, okay? You're 19, you're... Old enough. Okay, <laughs> I, I know how old you are. Yeah, okay, but let's think of this. So really, if we wanted to be honest here, Whose responsibility is it to get that apartment? She busted her ass. No. I've been working on it. <laughs> two of you. My, my situation? Two of the two of you. Yeah. No, it's not his. Exactly. It's not his. No, no, see, that's, we've been busting our ass, and we just asked for a little bit. She asked him for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he came over here to help. Cause, and you know what? No, That's what they, he did. they forced him to come over and bring the roach. Well, I'm gonna, well, he said because of doctors, because you're yeah, supposed to be down. But I'm, but I'm going to tell you that. I, I, as a parent, a parent, you will always be children to your parents, no matter how old you get. I'm 55. My mom is 70-something. Well, uh, I, I'm just telling you, life could be a little easier with you if you guys would sit down and communicate without getting roiled up. True. And, and taking each other at, at a straight level and listening to each other. And you know what? Sometimes you can just agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? But if you agree to disagree and you agree that way without anger or the F-bombs or, you know, any other thing, then, it's, uh, then it makes it a lot easier because there, what that does is it always leaves the door open for communication. And here's the deal. You guys are getting ready to have a third little party here that you're going to have to think of that grandmas and grandpas and other things are going to want to see and be a part of. Because that's, that's the life cycle. That's how it works. Okay, but I, oh, oh, and, I, and you know what? I'm not in your shoes and I'm not going to make a judgment of that. But I'm going to tell you. Family is always family. It might be dysfunctional, however dysfunctional it is, <laughs> but it's family. Very true. Very you know, true. every right. family has right. has that person or those people or that clan that sticks out. I don't care who they are. They can be millionaires, they can be billionaires, or they can be dirt poor. Right. The, every family has that process. So you have to decide, okay, we can still be adults and communicate and talk about it and go down this path together without any drama. So that that's the thing. So what do you want me to go back and tell her dad right now? Before I even sit down with you, i got to come down. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I can see that. Absolutely. Yeah. Because we all bring baggage to the table, right? Oh, you have, yes. You, he's got baggage in your eyes. Right. You have baggage in his eyes. Right. And we're not even bringing daughter into My it. My baggage okay? is baggage. I have baggage a baggage in 92. Well, well, well you're, you, you were just talking about stuff that he did and how he's treated. Recently. I, the well, point is we all bring baggage. What we need to do is to try to come to the table unemotionally, which is very difficult right. to do, mm -hmm. okay, with calm heads and discuss the issue. 
understanding that it's a compromise. You're not going to get everything you want. He's not going to get everything he wants. Somewhere in the middle. Let's let's put this in perspective. Do you, sir, yes. plan on being in this little one's life for the rest of my life? For the rest of your life. Well then. That's my child. Then <laughs> you're going to have to deal with you him. You're going to have no, to deal no, with no. him. Then why can't you understand this? He's going to be involved in her life for the rest of his life. No, he won't. I mean, if you, if that'd, you be like, that'd be like this baby. If you knew what's been you know, going on for a little bit, and I don't you know have how to. she feels about him. I don't have to know that. I don't have to know that. He's not going to be around. I don't have to know that. I mean, because as a parent, regardless of what you do he or does say, have the parental he's always going to love you. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's going to be there. I've raised my kids. They're long gone. But I can tell you, I'm still in it. And uh, that's just how things work. That, that I'm telling you, that's the life cycle. That's the... So you guys are going to have to work through it. I'm going to tell him probably today, both of you need to walk away, let things calm down, and talk about it on a brighter day, all right? I like all right. why he's stealing her money. Well, he's bringing her money. No, he's not. They're, they're did he bring your groceries today? Yes, he did. There you go. I rest my case. All right, all right. Good luck. Yeah. I'd like to know why you're fucking living off her. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, you know what I'm saying? What it boils down to is you brought her to your family. And that's kind of what I was trying to. Yeah. Alright, here's the deal. You got your hands full. I'll tell you that. Well, I, I, already, I already know I got my hands full. Okay, well, here's the deal. Here's what I... And, and one, neither one of them want to talk to you today. Oh, of course. Okay, well, hear me out. Hear me out. No. But I did talk to him and say... And, and, and he brought up a very good point to this, that, that man up there. And he said... He goes, here's the deal. The, the guy's like, well, I don't want him... In, in this life, and he says, "Well, let me ask you a question." He says, "Are you planning on being in this child's life?" And he said, "For the rest of my life." And he said, "Well, that's how her dad's going to be. Her dad will always be in her life, no matter what." So, and he looked, and he goes, "Well, no, we can stop that." I go, "No, you can't." And even she said that. So here's the deal. If I was you today, I said, "I'm going to ask your dad to leave you guys alone today. Let things calm down." Then come back, and I told him, I said, you're going to have, both of you are going to have to sit down at the table with your dad, and you can agree to disagree when you leave, but you need to sit down as a goal. And one of the things he did not like me was I told him, I said, well, here's the deal. I asked him, I said, what do you bring to the table? I go, the apartment deal that, he had brought up the apartment deal, and I said, it's not his responsibility to get an apartment. If you're the father of that child and you want to be with her, that's your responsibility. And he was like, no, 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 that's her. I go, no, 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 that's your responsibility. I said, that's how it works. And I said, I said, but you guys need to sit down and come up with a plan. I said, his main concern, I said, dad's main concern is the care of his daughter. Period. Nothing else. And then soon to be grandchild. And I said, you're in it, so he's trying to sit down with you man to man and talk about this. And I go, he goes, well, I'm too right up. And I go, oh, I can see that. And I said, so you're going to have to figure that out. I would probably give it a day, come back, and chit-chat with him and go from there. And if you don't get your justice, go in the court and petition the court. Okay? And I know what you're saying. I know it's very delicate. So, and, and for the record, um, are we still being recorded? Yeah. Okay. You're looking for the record. Um, I'm looking you know, at I outside. know Can't that you? I did nothing to we can see him to be angry with you only coming in and seeing how we're doing yeah. and yeah. then yeah. finding yeah. out that he's staying here that. and legally yeah. the money that's coming in and paying for the place, yeah. that's the only thing he's I brought up. I did not say one word to him. Well, we, we told, and he told him, he said, he goes, sir, I can see you're bringing a lot of baggage from your life into something that doesn't need to be brought into. And, and I said, everybody has baggage, but you can, you still need to sit down and communicate. So hopefully that will happen for you. Uh, I don't have a fix-all answer for you. I do know that uh, we've kind of given you a thing that, hey, if you're going to have to play hardball and that's the way you want to play it, this is there you go. Steps. And, and I can see daughter yeah. is leaning more towards you than she is him as far as some of the stuff. 
but I can see where he's over right controlling with that. And, oh, yeah. and he jewels for you have the one, fire. the two, or yeah. her <laughs> emotional <laughs> needs are only looking at what is being met <laughs> today, hey, and that's and it. Yeah, because she told me, he goes, well, he doesn't support I go, did he bring groceries today? What, and uh, he goes, no, her money. I go, no, no, no. I looked at your daughter and I said, did your father bring you groceries today? Because you asked. And uh, he said, she said, yes, he did. And I go, there you go. And then we left. So and we stay now. So anyway, that's where we're at. Can I get your cards? I, I don't have I a card. A card. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because uh, I don't do it, business They're worthless cards. because the odds of you getting us back on any call are slim to none. No, I, I understand <laughs> that. But I, I, so I can remember your names oh, and write gotcha. down my report yep. and just say, this is the exchange that I have. And uh, thank you for your time. Um, I appreciate it. I, I don't shake hands. I'm a germaphobe. Oh. Okay. How about Elmer? Uh, 358. Uh, e A R E R. My ancestors sheared <laughs> sheep, but okay. Three five eight. So funny. So hey, I mean, you're a germaphobe, but you work in a business that works. For I wasn't a germaphobe to be, until I became a cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I can tell you, you got to be super careful uh, yeah. not this, because I got a. Uh, yeah, the birds are last day here. I, I got a big rash here that right. took me almost yeah. eight months to get away oh, from um, wrestling with the dog. So, yeah. But I'm not a germaphobe. So. Thank, so, you, you, know. all right, Thank you. All right. Take care.